are you a golfer that with their irons fats the ball, fins the ball, or even tops it? Now, if so, today's video, I'm gonna show you the secret to striking your irons perfectly every time. And if you keep watching, I'm also gonna throw in hybrids and fairway woods. So then, all the best players in the world do this particular skill fantastically well. But in my experience as a coach, and certainly from the feedback I get from you guys on YouTube, many club golfers really struggle with this skill. And what is the secret to really getting that ball striking going with your irons, but also with your hybrids and your fairway woods, which I'll show later on. So the key is to control where the lowest point of your golf swing happens. Now, if you're a bit confused by that statement, let me explain. So when you look at the golf swing face on, the simplest form is that club head moves in a circle around your body. So at some point that club head is moving up, then it moves down, reaches its lowest point, and then goes back up. So hopefully, most golfers are aware that when you're hitting a good iron shot, we're looking to hit the golf ball first and then the ground. Now that might surprise some of you, and I get people in front of me who actually think that they should be touching the ground first. That might be your first mistake. And if it is, already we've rectified that. But the key is we need to try and get the lowest point of our golf swing this side of the golf ball. So what I think for most golfers they need to do is actually try and hit the floor at all. And actually, to begin with, don't worry whereabouts you're touching the ground. Just get the club touching the ground at all. And what you'll tend to find as you do it, if you're not somebody that takes divots, you might actually find it quite difficult to touch the floor at all. But when you start doing it, you might find that you'd be hitting this side of the golf ball, so you would definitely hit ground first. And those shots at the start, when I was topping it, fatting it and thinning it, all of those were about getting that low point this side. And I either hit the ground, which is the heavy shot, or a bottom out here, the club travels up a little bit for the thin, or travels up a lot for the top. So what we wanna do is how can we control that low point and make sure it's target side of the golf ball? Well, there's a few different ways, and I'm gonna give you a few different options to try as we work through the video. So the first one is very simple. If you're on a driving range, back or on the grass, actually just scuff a line a couple of inches in front of the golf ball. Then stand to the side, put your club in line with the ball, and when you swing, try and hit that forward line. So straight away, I managed to do that. Now, what I would say is some of you will find that very, very easy to do. Some of you will say, how do I need to do it? And even though I'm trying to hit that line ahead, I still feel I'm bottoming out early. Now, if that's the case, we're gonna give you a couple of little feelings that you can work on to try and improve that low point. So when you set up to the golf ball, your weight would be fairly 50-50. You'll see a lot of good iron players, particularly maybe a little bit more pressure in their lead foot, some a little bit more kind of in the, their back leg. Not so much with irons. But what you'll find is the good players, really good ball, ball strikers, as they make their backswing, that trail hip goes behind them. So you don't see them move off the golf ball too much because that low point moves back. And then as a result of that, there's a long way to move in a very short space of time. So we're gonna feel that, that trail hip just works behind. And then to start the downswing, we're gonna push into that lead leg. And that should, like I saw there, move that strike with the floor ahead of the golf ball. Now I'm gonna hit a couple of shots on Trapman because it measures my low point. And as a general rule, I would say I'm always after, but I'd like to be a little bit more. When I look at the best players in the world, they're definitely a little bit further forward than I am. And as a general rule, I'd say I'm a little bit further forward than a lot of golfers I see. So let's hit one with that little feeling and see how it stacks up. So felt solid three and a half inches ahead and a fairly accurate shot. And for a lot of you, that's gonna feel really, really different. And it is gonna be one of those things that you're going to have to practice. So again, let's get there, let's stand up. 
Now, if you're on a driving range, Matt, it can be good because you can sometimes see where the scuff is. Obviously, on grass, you'll see the divot after the golf ball. So again, I'm going to focus on turning back. And then as I start my downswing, really push into that lead foot. You can see again, a long way after, 5.1 inches ahead. And again, a decent shot. Now, I would say there's no dead set number that's absolutely perfect for individual. And like I said, a lot of the top players in the world will see, particularly with their short irons when the ball's fairly central in the stance, that their low point can even be seven, eight inches ahead. And that's when people talk about hitting down. They don't try and hit down. If that low point's this side of the golf ball, the club is traveling down into the ball to give that golf ball and then ground contact. But also the further forward that low point is, potentially that more shaft lean. And certainly with the guys who swing really quickly, I think it's easy for them to get that. So let's have one more with seven iron. And we're seeing for me, that low point, even though the ball's fairly central, is kind of getting up towards my lead heel. So let's go one more with a seven iron. And again, not quite as good that time. So only 1.3 inches ahead, but again, a decent shot. But you could see there, every single one is ball and then ground contact. So that's with my irons. Now seven iron to sandwich, ball very central for me. And then as the clubs get longer, the ball's moving slightly more towards that lead foot. So let's move into hybrids now and see how that would change. Now I know the title of the video was all about ball striking with your irons, but Undoubtedly, I'll get asked about hybrids and fairway woods, so let's cover these right now. So I'm still looking for that low point to be ahead of the golf ball so that the club's traveling down, but we'd like, as the clubs get longer and less lofted, the club not to move down as much. So all we're gonna do then, instead of having the ball bang in the middle, the ball's gonna be slightly forward. So again, if I maintain that low point in a similar place relative to my body, all of a sudden it won't be as far ahead of the golf ball, but it should still be after. So I've got a three hybrid, 19 degree. I'm gonna work on the exact same feeling, turn back, press into that lead foot, and let's see what that gives me. So just drawing a little bit more. But you can see low point ahead, not quite as far ahead. So there, I've done exactly what I wanted. I've kept that low point forward, but the club's moved much more shallow through the ball, keeping the loft, and ultimately getting the flight and the distance I'd be after. So let's go one more hybrid. So again, a little bit further ahead, and again, that actually felt a better strike, and again, a great shot, but we can see ball and then ground contact. So as that ball's moved forward, the club's not moving down as much, helping me to take advantage of the setup of the club. Now, finally into the fairway woods and the three wood, which is ultimately probably the most challenging club for most golfers. So again, most guys think they need to sweep the ball. We still want that low point to be ahead. Maybe get away with directly underneath or slightly behind, but I'd still love to see it ahead. So I'm gonna get that ball position just slightly forward of where the hybrid was. Still have that same feeling because the ball's on the floor. I want that movement to be as similar as possible and let the club do the work. So not brilliant, a little bit thin. Missed the ground, but the low point was ahead. And that's definitely my bad one with three wood when I maybe just don't quite trust it enough so have that little practice swing, get the feel that you might still take even a little bit of a divot with three wood. And then again, focus on that movement. Better strike, just turning over. But again, you can see that low point, 3.3 inches ahead and that perfect ball and then ground contact. Right then, so hopefully you've been through the video and you understand now and you've unlocked the secret to great ball striking with your irons, your hybrids and your fairway woods. And that secret, which is no longer a secret, is to get that low point ahead of the golf ball so that we create that ball and then ground contact. 
And if you've worked through with the little feeling or just focus ahead of the ball, it's really going to take your ball striking to another level, really enjoy your golf much more when you hit good shots, and ultimately get those scores down. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's a video just there that hopefully will help with your game. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.